hello everyone so in this video we will discuss about the tcp dump and like how we capture the live traffic and how we can see the output in the wireshark so first of all you should aware like uh, what is the extension like uh, if we are doing the capture how we will do it and what is the pkf file okay so how to open a pkf file and application that open a pkf file so like if you are capturing any traffic we use the tcp dump command and to save that we use a extension that it's a dot pkf either kf right so uh this is a extension right so what is that so the pkf for extension is mainly associated with the wireshark right like a program used to analyze network so this is a extension file and how to open a pkf file so these are some uh, applications like wireshark wireshark is a application right we are already uh, discussing this wireshark and uh, how to analyze the packet and uh, we open this pkf file in the uh, applications we can open right windom is also a file to open the packet dot pkf file so if you see the pkf extension if you want to see let me show you uh, our capture so you can see like three way handshake dot pkf file and i have opened this file in a wireshark so there is a lot of options here if you see manage display filter as well right so these are the filters which we can use to uh, find the specific uh, uh, details so i have one more uh, capture let me show you that okay so in this like uh, uh, we have discussed some filters as well so if you see okay so these are the wireshark filter so how we can use this so suppose wireshark filter by ip so this is a command to use this you need to just type the ip and you can see the multiple details are showing here okay i have searched this source ip so now it's showing me and ip version 6 if you have you can type that as well let me type that and just paste the enter so now it will be show highlight the uh, this ip address here okay so like uh, it, this is in source this is in destination okay so in every column every line you will see this ip detail okay. like it's a icmp and tls related and uh, it's a rstx all packets uh there are multiple uh, filters are there other uh, filters filters are so like if you want to filter with the destination and uh, so you can search it using the port number as well and uh, if you want search specific like ftp data so there is no ftp uh, any arp entry okay so you can see the arp as well okay so there is a lot of uh, filters tcp only you can see the tcp connections and uh, rst packet ack packet syn packet you can see in the uh, filters flow graph is a feature so flow graph you can see like uh, these are the sequence numbers and uh, from which sequence data 
coming from uh, like um, user is requesting and the sin synac or fin like the all the data has been transferred or not your destination traffic is coming on this in this in this and this so it will give you all the pictures in detail packet length so resolve address these are the entries dscp is not running and uh, if we check There is no virtual server. So capture file, protocol history. So protocol history, you can see the which protocols are uh, coming. And uh, yeah, so these are the features in the Wireshark. So basically, you can see we check over packet is forwarding and reverse as well, right? We check the both way traffic. So after that, we analyze that if there is any issue or everything is fine. 